What's up and welcome to Smart Money. I normally like to start the video off with something to hook the viewer, but I like to keep this video short and direct. I was watching Proactive Thinker this morning and I saw a very interesting video suggesting the stock market will crash after the election. I enjoy the videos on Proactive Thinker a lot and usually agree with his content. But I disagreed strongly with the first half of the video. So I've decided to make a response video sharing my thoughts with his audience and my audience so we can have a clearer picture of the matter. The video asserts that corporate taxes will increase during the Biden presidency, causing a sell-off on Wall Street. That's likely true in the short run. The corporate tax rate is usually just a political talking point since corporations can usually afford the best accountants to make sure they pay the absolute minimum taxes. Most arguments ignore the substantial difference between corporate tax rate and the effective tax rate. Treasury.gov defines the effective tax rate as taxes actually remitted divided by a book or financial statement income rather than taxable income. In fact, an article on CNBC.com notes that 91 Fortune 500 companies had an effective tax rate of 0% in 2018, the first year of President Trump's tax cut and reform bill. Though the bill lowered corporate tax rates to 21%, the average Fortune 500 company paid 11.3% in taxes that year. Only 51 Fortune 500 companies paid tax rates above 21%. These tax cuts wound up costing the country $74 billion in lost revenue in 2018. This doesn't make corporations into some kind of cartoon villain, but it's important to understand the facts behind what happened. The video goes on to state that Obama-era tax cuts were 38%, which is largely accurate. The corporate tax rate under President Obama was 38.9%. However, that was not the effective corporate tax rate. The Department of Treasury goes on to say that the effective corporate tax rate in 2007 was 26%, while by 2011, it was down to 20%. What may frighten investors is that Biden has talked about introducing a minimum corporate tax rate of 15% on businesses that have over 500 employees and or $7 million in yearly revenue. This would eliminate the possibility of a 0% effective tax rate, which seems to frighten companies like Amazon, Netflix, and other extremely profitable companies that paid 0% in corporate taxes. I have a recent video explaining each candidate's fiscal policies if anyone is interested. Ironically, Democrat presidents have a track record of being better for business than Republican presidents have and it have for over 70 years. BusinessInsider.com points to a historical stock market study that shows S&P 500 has posted an average return of 10.8% under Democrat presidents going back to 1947. The article shows that Republican presidents have an average annual return of 5.6% during the same time period. Even GDP growth was better under Democratic presidents. The article notes that GDP grew by an average of 3.6% under Democratic presidents as compared to 2.6% under Republican presidents. If history is any indicator, I'd recommend on holding off on buying stock until a day or so after the election. Investors dislike uncertainty, and the likelihood of a new president may cause stock market prices to drop. If you're buying stock, that's your chance to get great deals on high-value companies. Think of these companies as being on sale. You'll get great value for your investment if you buy stocks when the price is low. That's my video responding to Proactive Thinkers Stock Market Will Crash After the Election video. I appreciate you watching. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing as I come up with new content every Friday. Let me know what you think of this video by giving me a thumbs up and voicing your opinion in the comments. I read and reply to all the comments I get. Since you now know so much about corporate tax rates, why don't you consider investing? Even if all you've got left over is $100 and a sense of wonder, I'd recommend using Robinhood. It's completely free, plus if you use my link in the description, you'll get a free stock just for opening an account. Comment below and let me know what you get. Check out these videos on your screen on how to improve your finances. If you like this video, hit the like button. It helps out a lot. Be sure to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Check out the links in the description for offer information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.